Oh, cool. 7,000 people have wanted to subscribe to Ghetto's YouTube channel. That's get. That's what the name comes from anyway. I always called this car what the channel's called. I made it up when I was like 12 years old. So there was always something messed up with it. And no one had fixed it. I started fixing it with my own money when I was about 14. Sure, the parents chipped in a little bit, but like a lot of the mechanical work and stuff, you know, AC didn't work. I did all that myself first time. Um, brakes were all messed up, put calipers, whatever. Um, a lot of stuff, oil leaks, you name it, distributor blew up on it. Just, I don't know, I guess it really wasn't that bad, but suspension was all messed up. It's a lot better now. Still needs a little bit of work, but I always called it that. ABS light was on forever until we got a new pump for it. But, you know, a lot of keyless entry didn't work. A lot of this little stuff. But we fixed it all. And thanks to this area, we were able to get the parts. So that's just our little intro. But now with this, we are... This video will probably get, like, more views now. And people go, oh, well, I didn't need it. I was here for the... You, the way... So this is a brand new container, you saw it in the other video maybe. Oh, this thing's heavy, man. Brand new one. This brand is same as DuPont. This is DuPont right here. I got this tank 2015 when I got this AC machine. Why'd I buy it? Because I'm crazy. And yeah, this sits around now. I paid 460 a pound for this. So times 460 by 30. And that's how much I paid for that. I bought it at Pep Boys. Now Pep Boys sucks. They are not. They have coupons because this is $1.99 at Pep Boys. Way too much money. I used like a 30 or 35% off coupon. I forget. And uh, yeah, I picked it up in the store. But yeah, they're not offering that now. But I used a good amount of this. But a lot of it's in the machine because the machine has an internal tank. So it's, that's full in there. I didn't, well, not all the way full. I never want to fill it because these machines leak. You just wind up wasting your stuff. You put it as least as possible in there. So we're going to weigh this. Actually, first we're going to weigh the full one. Then we're going to weigh that. And we're going to figure out how much approximately gas is left, or R134A refrigerant is left in that tank. So this one, obviously, it's going to be more than 30 pounds because you are weighing the steel part as well. And this is not a refrigerant scale, so it's not going to be 100% accurate. Close, I don't know. Luckily, our little pegs on it fit. But we're just curious what this will read. 35. See, it moves around, and then the refrigerant moves around. We're going to let that stabilize for a little bit. So like 35 pounds. We're just going to say 3 ounces. All right, so the tank weighs approximately five pounds, three ounces. That's a Kemmers or DuPont. DuPont, they run with this name now. I don't know why. Same product, apparently. Another thing we'll add into this quickly, a lot of these tanks are Chinese. A lot of the gas is Chinese these days. This is some number that the factory puts on. I'm not sure how to decode this. Although I may have a video on that, I'm not sure. Sometimes I forget what I do. We all do as people. Another thing to consider with this tank is the CAS number. It's the, uh, it's like the chemical number, what, what this makeup is, and it's on here somewhere. This is the stamp. A lot of the DuPont products they have the stamp. That tank has it as well. I'll show it to you when you take it off the machine. And it has the, uh, the number of it. This usually comes out and there's a little window on the actual box when you get it You're poking through right there on the bottom and then you have a hole in the top that's where the valve goes they say oh don't take it out of the box I take it out of the box I mount it on a machine it's stupid you can't fit it on there it just doesn't fit so we're gonna find the cast number now I'm gonna show you that see that's the dot 39 that's the tank designation the tank is a dot 39 tank I'm not sure what the NRC is. Cambridge Company, trademark. Where is the CAS number? It's on here somewhere. Made in USA. So good information. That's the chemical makeup. 
that's R134A terafluorethane so if you see it that is the stuff where is the cast number if you look around eventually you will find the cast number again terafluorethane HFC 134A cast number pure gas is going to read this 811 dash 97 dash 2 if it's not pure stuff it's going to read something different so that's something to consider sometimes it could be a mixed gas how truthful are they in that number you don't know but that one says the same thing I have a video going way back I bought a tank from Advanced Auto I thought it was national brand it looked like national brand I get there it was one of those buy online, pick up in store, coupon. I got it for like 80 bucks to tank or something, like a killer deal on it. But I returned it because a couple things threw me off, and I'll link that video on the bottom. The tank was like a green color instead of like this blue, which is kind of strange. And all the lettering on it, it was like misspelled, Chinese. It had like, it was you know, for um, liquid and uh, our gas or vapor, the arrows, you know, you flip it up, up here, you're gonna get more of a vapor, and you put it the other way, you're gonna get more of a liquid. So with the valve on the bottom, you're gonna get a liquid. That's what they want on the machine when you fill it. But that threw me off, and the color of the tank threw me off, and then you go online, there's other differences in the tank. Sometimes the handles are different on the Chinese tanks, the American tanks. So it's all weird little stuff, I'll link the video. But let me put this one on. See this is a DuPont tank. Kind of similar. It actually is a little it looks a little more green than that with the pink color. It's a little bit, but the advanced auto one was like really really green. Which was strange. There's the weird little stamp on it. Cast number is the same. It's on here somewhere. The eight eleven Hickel in USA. But this one's reading going all crazy. Stop it. There we go. 8 pounds 14.1 ounces. So what do you say that one was? 35.3 full. So we have to take about 5 pounds 3 ounces off of this. And that's what's left in here. So do the math. I'm not doing the math. Two bit numbers are too large. There's another logo over there. You know, a lot of the tanks have that. But this is all the stuff to look at. Is in same number poking through. But yet yeah, you can't find these anymore. The Dupont gas, Dupont Suva, it's gone. There's a case number right there. So if you have a tank of R134A and it's a Dupont tank, it might weigh what this one weighs approximately. The tank looks pretty much like the same, you know, same handle and everything, same size approximately. I believe it's probably the same tank. The valve looks the same. This one uses a, uh, a screw-on cap though over here. This one doesn't. It's just a little pop-on one, which I didn't like too much. This one has a little O-ring on it. But yeah, weigh your tank. So we have about 13 pounds... 11 ounces left in this tank. I think I did that right. I'm so dyslexic. I'm terrible at math. All right, so let's go throw this one back on. This we'll do something with, and we got to get some more of this stuff. Oh, there's a DuPont stamp right there. You see it now? The color. It's like a hologram. Interesting. We're getting thunder. Don't use your AC machine when there's a lightning storm. We'll screw it up. Yeah, you want the pure gas. Like I said in the other video, you're better off buying a damn cylinder of this stuff, even if you're only going to use it once. Just buy a cylinder instead of the cans. If you're any bit automotive uh, enthusiast or whatever. The price is probably going to go up next year. Some more. The same tank from this guy in Queens. He was selling it for $100, I believe, or maybe even less. But I never bid on it because I thought it was going to come down here smashed. He actually seems like he knows what he's shipping. You saw in the other video, shrink wrapped very well, caps off the top. So it was a good deal. I should have bought 
a couple tanks were from him over the years. I think it was even under $100 shipped around here in this area. I guess there's such a high demand. I really can't find anything for a decent price here or for around that. It's cheaper to get it shipped in. One thirty seven ninety five. I paid for that on eBay. The guy has an eBay store and he has an Amazon store. It's cheaper on eBay. I might call them direct maybe this week or after the 4th of July or whatever and ask them if they would ship it to me direct for maybe even a cheaper price. You don't know. So, I'm done with this video. If you get a full tank, what did we say? 35 pounds? Three ounces, let's wait again. I think it was that, unless I screwed up again. This one's so much lighter. See, this one I could pick up. This one I'm turning into an old man. Oh my god! Can't believe we used that much already. We used a lot of gas. Yeah, 35. Three ounces may change on a refrigerant scale. So, interesting. Done. I like this video and AC gas? I do too. If you don't, go sweat. It's gonna rain in the condo land. I feel bad when I do this. Every time I point a camera to someone at the pool in a bathing suit, they're probably like, he's trying to take a picture of me. And we got a chance of oil on a third, which sucks. So that's gonna rain, so we can't do it this afternoon. It's hot. Can't show my crazy reflection and can't do that.